it's Oscars weekend. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy here. We got five parties to get to, a bunch of celebrities to meet. It's gonna be a blast. Let's see who wins the Oscars 2024. And the Oscar goes to? Hollywood. That's Hoobie Valley, Hoobie Hollywood. Where any office boy or young. The place you don't want to be. They lost my bag. All my Oscars out first. What a disaster. But first, let me take you back to the city where it all started, Miami. And no pre-flight routine is complete without heading to the Sky Lounge before we board those nice big booths in first class. Okay, we're here hitting the lounge before we jump on the flight. I was smooth. Can't say that about finding out they've lost my bag on Oscars weekend. As you can tell, the trip didn't start off as planned, but we're gonna make the best of it. And we've got a bunch of stuff to look forward to in today's video, including my insane shopping spree on Rodeo Drive, visiting my buddy's house, Jesse, the actor from John Took and Must Die, and of course, many amazing Oscars parties and celebrities. In between, finishing some clips for my new TV show that's coming out very soon. And don't worry, if you're not sure which Oscars party to attend next year, I got you covered. I'm gonna show you the best ones. First up, the Governor's Ball, the official Oscars party after the awards. And yes, most of the big celebrities do go there, especially the ones that were nominated or won an Oscar. About a thousand celebs show up. This includes a lot of the winners, Emma Stone, my favorite, Iron Man, yes, Robert Downey Jr., and many, many more. It's one of the biggest parties there is to go to. But don't worry, if you didn't win an Oscar, I'm going to show you a bunch of other parties. Maybe you can get in. But before that, let's go shopping. So as the airline has lost my luggage, it's time to try and find some red carpet worthy swag to keep me out for a big weekend. Shopping in LA, it could be worse. We're here on Rodeo Drive, the only place where you can spend an entire month's salary on a pair of socks. Let's go shopping. Dressing for Hollywood doesn't come cheap, and I'll take any excuse to spend thousands of dollars on designer clothes. Let's see what I can rack up over a weekend when I lost my suitcase. Can you get me another size? We're done. I am ready for tonight. Another shopping mission accomplished. So tonight, Women in Film, a massive event celebrating all the amazing celebrities and women that feature films, direct films. But before that, I gotta head to the studio and finish some lines. No, not those kind of lines. Jeez. All right, so we're heading back to the studio. I'm gonna call my buddy Jesse from uh, Desperate Housewives. John took a must die. So it. Hello, Jonathan. And we have a big party in LA kicking off the Oscars tomorrow. So we've got a crazy weekend ahead. Coming up, we got more celebs, more parties. We've got the Gold Meets Golden, one of the biggest celebrity events with a lot of Olympians, plus some other famous Oscars parties you can't miss, Eldon John's party, and of course the famous Vanity Fair. So let's talk about the Eldon John Oscar party. And it's hosted in line with the Oscars. So if you can't get into the Oscars, at least you can watch the Oscars with a bunch of other celebrities, including Miss Versace, Avril Lavigne, and in past years, you name it, pretty much every celebrity has gone to the Elton John Oscar party. But first, let me call Jesse and see what he's got planned for this crazy weekend. Rudy, what's up? So they just text back they can get um, another ticket for tomorrow. It's gonna be a really good party. It'll definitely kick the weekend off well. Let me just get to the studio and then I'll text you tonight and figure out when we'll be down and stuff. Now, before we take you to see more red carpets, I got more work to do. I'm finishing my show. I've been filming this for the last few months and you've been following me and I've got to go in and film some ads, film some lines and just polish it off so it's ready to be submitted to the big screen. I wasn't born with red hair. I figured out I've got to stand out. Okay, so that's a wrap. Easy session. Now, one last problem before we hit the red carpet. I got to figure out where the hell my video guy, Ali's going to stay. Yeah, I'll just grab him a motel or something don't worry so i'll see you i'll be over in an hour all right buddy bye so am i gonna be staying at jesse's well he only has one spare bedroom so don't worry i'm gonna get you a hotel oh my gosh we made it like we're gonna be there right on six this is a crazy 10 minutes drop my bags at jesse's shower change now we got another 25 minutes down the road to Beverly Hills. 
Okay, I've been teasing it. Women in film, Oscars party, here we come. Some of my celebrity friends and some very famous actors attending. I'm so excited to network, hang out. And this is really my first Oscars weekend. So I don't know what to expect, but I expect it's gonna be wild. Women in film was a blast. I'm going to bed. And of course, waking up tomorrow for Gold Meets Golden. We're here at Gold Meets Golden. It's gonna be an epic event. I just walked the red carpet. Some of the biggest Olympians and athletes are here right now celebrating for charity. Let's go. I was fortunate enough to get to race in Tokyo and I won a gold medal in the 100 backstroke. My name is Ezra Freck. I'm a Paralympian for Team USA, the world champion and world record holder in the high jump for men's T63. After gold meets gold and me and Jesse hung out, got a nice dinner, planned some stuff that we've got coming very, very soon. And look, Saturday is now a wrap. The moment we've been waiting for. Sunday, the Oscars and the biggest parties, Eldon John and Vanity Fair. Vanity Fair is the creme de la creme. It's the biggest Oscars party. Next year, I'm probably going to try and hit this one instead of Eldon John. Who knows? They're both amazing. But look, Vanity Fair basically has a lot of the other celebrities that actually went to the Oscars. The Kardashians are there. Billie Eilish is there. Sydney Sweeney. You name it. There's a celebrity you love at Vanity Fair. So look, we're coming to the end of our Oscars weekend. It's been super wild. I couldn't film as much as I wanted inside the actual events because you have to be certified press. But hopefully you got to see my whirlwind tour of LA, Hollywood, and the Oscars weekend. Next year, I'm going to go back to even bigger events and hopefully take you inside undercover. But let's see. Until next week, check out some of my other wild videos and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Hopefully on the red carpet in Hollywood. <laughs>